Yes. Nice, Casey. Good, Casey. That's it. Well, well, we'll fix that right up. Come on, sweetie. Well, that's not so bad. It's okay, Case. Take it easy. It's okay to you. Ah. He bit me. Well, we believe you, honey, but how did Case get... He bit me! That's what it is. Help it! Case, go! Help! I know somebody who's ticklish. <laughs> yes, I do. Ow! What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? Did I hurt you? Let me see. Let me, let me take a look. Come on. Come on. Let me take a look. It's all right. It's okay. Let me, let me look. Eric, what happened? I fell. Hmm. Got to be careful on that bike, huh? Oh, I know. It'll make you feel better. You know what? I have your cookies. Look, I have one for you, one for Kat, and one for Case. There you go. Tell me who did this. My teacher. So, Eric, shall we play a game? Good. I know that you're afraid to tell me who hurt you. But I think that it's really important that I know, because if it wasn't your teacher, then we don't want to hurt her feelings. So I'll just say some names, and when I say the name of the person who hurt you, you can just nod your head yes, okay? Okay. Was it, um, Grandma Barbara? Was it Daddy? How about Johnny or, or one of your other friends? Hmm. Was it Casey? Was it Catherine? Okay, that's very good. That's very, very good, Eric. Thank you. Would you do me another favor? Could I see your stomach? Please help my heart and my voice heal, not hurt. Help this child to reflect thy loving spirit. Mommy! Mommy! In here, cat! What's wrong, Mommy? Mommy, what's wrong? Eric showed me his bruises today. I was going to tell you. His teacher did that. Isn't it terrible? No. You did it, Kat. And then you told him to lie about it, didn't you? Me? I'm not angry. I was angry, very angry, that you would do something like that. Not only to Eric, but to his teacher. She could lose her job over something like that. Good. Good? What do you mean? Kat. Kat. You're going to send me away. No, sweetheart, we're not going to do that. I didn't mean to. Are you telling me the truth? Why don't you believe me? I want to, honey, I do. But it's hard when you do things like you did to Eric and Casey. He hurt me first. Were you scared? Is that what happened? I was just trying to pet him, take care of him. Like with Eric and the baby birds. Do 
Did you take the birds out of the nest? The mommy bird wasn't going to come back anyway. You sure fooled Dr. Merritt, didn't you? Well, you're not fooling me or Daddy, not anymore. And I don't want you ever to hit your brother again, do you understand me? Even when he's bad? I'm the mommy, remember? And you're such a good mommy. Thank you for making my dress. It's such a pretty dress. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? Why are you me? You said you weren't mad. I was wrong. When you do the kind of things you do, it makes me very mad. I'm sorry, mommy. Oh, why? Why do you do these things? Are you angry? Can I go now? No, you may not go. I want you to stay in your room and think about things. Think quietly. No screaming or breaking things. Do you understand? Do you? I'll call you for dinner. Daddy? Oh, what is it? Can I go downstairs and play? Sure you can, big guy. We'll call you. Can I go too? No. Yes. I thought you were going to help me set the table. Is it all right, Mommy? Sure, honey. Why don't you just stay here? And I'll, I'll call the hospital. Okay. Daddy, will you please close the door? Johnny, all right? Well, she just missed his eye. The whole class and the teacher saw it. And uh, when I asked her why she tried to cut him with the glass, you know what she said to me? What glass? Well, Rob, it was more than neglect. She was abused sexually from the time she was a tiny baby. A lot of kids are abused, but they don't try to kill people. I don't think it was just the abuse. I told you these two children have haunted me. For years, I couldn't do anything except move them from foster home to foster home. 
hoping against hope that something would work. Then I found this book. Kids Who Kill. Will it tell us what we're supposed to do? What did you think of it? Oh, it's chilling. I feel like I'm reading a description of Kat, the amorality, the manipulation. Her obsession with blood and death, her violence. How many other therapists know about this? Not many. Uh, does this work, this holding therapy? I don't know. I'm ashamed to say I never followed through with it. We wouldn't have the money to pay for it anyway. I wonder if we do. Well, we'll find a way. We have to. I hope so. Okay, Kat? You comfy? I'm fine. Look at me, honey. How do, you, how do you feel when we hold in here like this? It's okay. Talk to me, honey. To me. Uh, uh, let me go. I want to get up. No. Oh, really? You're the boss now, huh? You're going to tell me what to do? Look at, look at me. And a girl. That's yeah! right. kind of a boy. It doesn't look like you're going anywhere, huh? Oh, come on. My grandmother can kick harder than that. Come on. Let go. I want to let go. Not the boss now, Kat, let huh? Go. Can't be Kat, because it doesn't look like she's going anywhere. Let me go. Let me go. Who's the boss, Kat? I am. I am. I can do whatever I want. Oh, man. Well, you can't get up. What kind of a boss is that? Not much of a boss, is it? No! 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 Come on, come on. What? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What is it? I hate your guts, you ugly old bitch! Oh, good. Good, you're getting on it now, huh? I want you to look at me when you say that. I want you to look at me, and I want you to say it real loud, okay? Say it. I want you to look at me, I want you to say it loud. Do you understand what I'm saying? Say it loud. Come on, are you scared? Come on, say it. Come on, loud. I hate your guts, you ugly old bitch! Okay, loud. No! She's frustrated and she's full of rage because she's not getting what she wants. What we have to do is get through that rage, into the pain, and through to the empathy. How could she learn empathy from cruelty? My intent isn't cruel. Is yours? <laughs> this is the only way we know how to do it. It's the only way. Or do you think talk therapy is going to help? You have a homicidal child in your hands. Let's try to do something before she kills him. Come on. Cat. Cat. All right. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why do you want to kill us? Yeah. She's starting to feel the pain underneath the rage. I can't pretend to know 
why it happened and happened now. I can only speculate the fire, the rage that came with the panic uh, when she felt deserted. Of course, this work brings up old memories, you know. But we were talking last night, and she said she didn't want to do bad things. I'm sure she meant it. But will she ever change? Will she ever lead a normal life? Jill, if you're asking me for a guarantee, I can't give you one. This is not a quick fix. And don't trust anybody that tells you it is. It's terrifying, I know, but we have to teach this child how to access her pain and her rage so that she can understand it, and then she can control it. No, what if she can't learn? What if she ends up like Justin? Do I just sit and wait for her to try to kill Rob or, or Eric? Well, Justin's 11. We don't know enough yet to easily reach a child of that age. But there's hope for Catherine. Here or at home as you continue to work with her? I don't know if I can. Maybe I should take over. Well, it's better if she bonds with her mother first. Jill? We have this last session. Can you do it? I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Why do you want to kill us? You're hurting me! No, your birth dad hurt you, Kat. Your birth dad hurt you. You hurt me! Don't hurt me! Please, Daddy, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! What don't are you seeing? What are you seeing, Kathleen? What is He's it? He's coming! He's coming! What's he doing? How do you feel, Kat? How do you feel? <laughs> Tell him, Cat. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll stab you like Casey! I'll beat you like Eric! I'll burn you like Justin! You'll die, and you'll bleed, and you'll hurt, and you'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die! How do you feel, Cat? It hurts. Mommy, Mommy, I hurt! Love, love. to hurt and it's okay to be mad look at me cat now, now listen your birth dad hurt baby cat but this is your daddy and he loves you very much do you understand that your birth dad hurt baby cat and that's why she wants to hurt other people kill them yeah kill them do you know why do you want other people to hurt like you hurt and be dead. Your birth dad hurt baby cat. And that's why she wants to hurt and kill. But cat isn't a baby. Not anymore. She's a big, strong, beautiful girl. Big, strong, beautiful Catherine can tell baby cat to stop. Big Catherine can control baby cat. And when she does, do you know something? That's when the hurting will start.